Well, this, this helps later. Right, go ahead, Jim. We have to uh, find them. There you go. That's good. Forty-seven. Amber. Yes, Amber. We have a new talent. Amber. Amber. Perfect. Hi, how are you? Good. Whatever you would like. Wonderful. After becoming paralyzed, you know, it was a big adjustment. I was 18 years old. It was two months before my 19th birthday. And just figuring out how to adapt to life in a wheelchair and understand what it meant for my life moving forward and those unknowns and uncertainties that came with it. But I think the biggest part that helped get me through that really was my community and, you know, my family and loved ones and my supporters around me. And that helped me kind of come back into life again. And ultimately, when I started swimming again a few months after my injury, that really allowed me to kind of start finding closure in what happened and start, you know, realizing that life will go on and, and I can do everything I used to do. I just might have to do it a little bit different. Yeah, you know, I think, so when I got back in the water the first time, it was these mixed emotions of that fear, but also that excitement for trying to get a piece of my life back. Because when I was injured, I assumed that everything I knew for those 18 years would be gone and I would have to figure out life all over again. And so when I got back in the water and I realized that that same love that I had for the water, the first, you know, 18 years of my life still remained on that day. It was really freeing and it was really exciting realizing that, you know, I, I could do this and I could go back to something that I loved for so long before my paralysis and still have that love and still be able to do it. And ultimately, you know, as the journey continued, be able to excel at it. And, you know, it was something that required physical capabilities, which was also very uplifting for me because at that time I was looked at as somebody who was physically incapable in a lot of ways. And it was really great for myself to be able to kind of prove to myself that I could physically excel in life moving forward. You know, I think the biggest thing is, is you have to step back sometimes and, and just allow yourself to lean on those people in your lives. And, you know, when I was injured, I had a list of all the things I never thought I would be able to do again. And eight years later, I've done everything on that list and more. You know, I've, I've done more with four wheels than I ever did on my own two feet. And I think that that's allowed me to realize that the only limits we have are the ones that we create. And we can do anything we set our mind to. And we just sometimes need to allow ourselves to lean on those around us to help lift us up and get us through that initial, that initial struggle as we try to find our way back. Growing up, my dad always told my sisters and I before bed, he'd tell us, you're the best, you can make a difference, and you can change the world. And that quote has become a big part of who I am today. And, you know, it was ingrained in me from a young, young age and something my parents have said to us our entire lives. And when I'm going through struggles, I kind of remember that and remember that all we need to do in that moment is give our best. And by giving our best each and every day, we ultimately will get to where we're trying to go. And in the process, in our own way, we can make a difference and change the world. And so I pull a lot of motivation from those words.
You know, it's it's interesting because I think for myself, this is this is just the life that I live. It is I I have athletic goals um, and I'm not willing to give up on them. And you know, there's so many individuals out there that are incredibly inspiring, and I pull a lot of inspiration from a lot of different people. And I think at the end of the day, you know, if people can pull inspiration from the journey and what I've been through, um, that's very humbling. Um, I, I certainly am moved that people uh, use that word and associate it and tell me that I've inspired them. But at the end of the day, I think a lot of times those that tell me I've inspired them, they've actually inspired me that much more. And so I think it is a two-way street and it's really great to, to be able to be a part of that. Yes. So, you know, it's really interesting. I've been focusing, especially these last two years going into Rio, um, on the nutrition component of my of my training because, you know, the workouts are a huge part. But if you're not feeling your body correctly, you don't get the most out of your workout. And so a big thing that I've been very, very diligent on is every morning I start off with a glass of milk. And I do that because it has eight grams of protein, natural protein in it, and it has a total of nine essential nutrients. And, you know, big thing in the training is making sure that you're getting these natural sources and really fueling your body. And so having that glass of milk to start my day with my breakfast is really important to me. And it really has made a difference. The more I've focused on the breakfast component of my day, it has made a huge difference in my training thereafter because it helps me make sure that I'm fueled correctly so I really can get the most out of my workout on each day. Um, oh my gosh, I'm here. <laughs> Getting to the Rio Paralympic Games was a big struggle. I had a a very severe permanent injury to my left arm in 2014, and I thought I was going to retire. And that was a pretty terrifying thought. I definitely wasn't ready for retirement. I have a lot of athletic goals left, and, um, you know, it was a big struggle and a big fight for my coach and I to get me ready to be in a position to compete to just make the team. And so being able to be named to the team and go to Rio and go to my second Paralympic Games and swim in seven individual events. Uh, in a lot of ways, that was more of a feat than my gold medal in London was for me personally as just an individual because the fight it took to get to Rio, um, I can safely say I don't think I've ever fought that hard for something. And so when I finally made it there, it made every last ounce of it worth it. And uh, it was incredible to be there and to be able to look up in the stands and my coach came down and I had my mom and my dad and my future mother and father-in-law, my sisters, my sister-in-law and my fiance all there. And so it really was just such a special time and to be a member of Team USA is always just an incredible honor. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time as well. Thank you. Nice.